104.1 St. Louis's source of hip hop and R&B. It's Princess Storm, and I have two of the dopest people in St. Louis right now. Some working hard men. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. All right, I'm Antonio Hobbin, aka Mr. Credit Repair One, and I am Mortiz Parker Bay, aka YC is to get you feel. So y'all are here today to discuss the new movie, the new film that who produced it. You produced it? Yes. Okay. It's called The City's Biggest Heist. And it look, I'm so ratchet and tired sometimes. When I like read the text message, when I read everything that you sent, I was like, oh, I like this. I can't wait to see this one. Yeah. And then it's about St. Louis. Yeah, Born and raised from St. Louis. So just spill a little bit about it. Okay. It's about the ATM solution heist that happened in, uh, I think it was 2010. Mm-hmm. I actually used to work there. So You used to work there? Yes. You got some money. Was it six point six million dollars? Yeah, six point six million dollars. I was in California when it happened, but then when I came back, they interviewed me, took me down to the police station, all that. Mm-hmm. But it's about that heist, um, loosely based heist. Mm-hmm. Um, I added my own twist to it, or whatever like that, just to give it a little more punch because they caught everybody in real life. Yeah. So, like, so. so for those people out there who's not from St. Louis, who's watching this interview right now. Give a little bit about the heist that happened because I'm from St. Louis and I lived around the corner from where the money was at. And I'm like, if I would have knew this, well, if I would have knew. Well, it was about uh, four, five, four or five people. Mm-hmm. Uh, two dudes and three girls. You know what I'm saying? They all went in on the lick, plotted. The plan was genius. Genius. It was a genius plan. They all smart. Yeah. They didn't have a white guy to get it. Okay. Yeah, everything they did. <laughs> they after. needed one. One white guy just to hide the money from them. Yeah, like they they ain't never had nothing before. So when they got it, they ain't know how to act. Mm-hmm. So they was just turning up to them and running the thing thing and on it after the heist and trying to cut up on some slick stuff. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta. The lady at Walmart with the bands on mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, they found $60,000 in a Hummer in Atlanta. So, And they never found all the money. Too. They never found all the money. So how many years did everybody get? Is it like still pending? I, they locked up right now. Yeah, I yeah, know, but I'm yeah. saying like is it still pending? Like, no, nah, they case closed. Yeah, case uh, closed. Case closed. Yeah. 14 and up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. But listen, they can come out, right? Still for time. Yeah. It's, it's they didn't find out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a question mark at the end of that sentence right there. Man, I ain't even going to forget. We ain't going to talk about yeah. it. We're going to say, look, we're going to discuss yeah. all that right there. Yeah. But I ain't stuff for sure. You switched the movie up a little bit, so what things are different from the movie than real life? You say you twisted certain parts of it because you knew and you worked there, but you wasn't hurt when everything went down. I, I twisted up. I added a little story to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I added people dying that you wouldn't even think was going to die. Mm-hmm. In this case, everybody lived. Um, and two people getting away with their money instead of everybody getting Okay. Yeah. So, Martez, yes. which role are you play in the movie? I play what? The second leading role? Why not the first? Because I see you just over there acting the fool, showing out. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I just got a knack for being a supporting actor. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh-huh. like, you know, he like Ice Cube. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got so. you in the movie too? Yeah, I produced it. I wrote it. <laughs> everything. I'm in it. You in it too? When you said produce it, I'm like, okay, you just behind the scenes. You know, you did all this. You're like, nah, I do everything. So, with the movie coming out, when does it actually drop? The 29th of April. Okay, the 29th of April. Tip Y'all doing a screening? Uh, I'm trying to do it at the Tivoli, but mm-hmm. I got a better deal at the Paid Dead Theater since it's new. So, I think yeah. it's going to drop it there. It's going to be lit. So, the people that this movie is based upon, do you think they're a little angry that Child did this? Or a little bit no. so? Y'all talk to them about it? <laughs> no, we didn't. We twisted it so we wouldn't yeah. have to get all the copyright and okay. interview them and everything like that. But um, a little light to that situation is always good, to, especially right. since they're down right now. Mm-hmm. So one thing about St. Louis, most people that's not from here don't understand St. Louis is a hard city to live in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people see the arch, they see the stadium, Sweetie Pies, and they're like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. But y'all showing a different side of St. Louis. Why did y'all choose to show more of the grimier side they than need the good thing? They need a voice. Uh-huh. Ain't nobody listening to them. So the, the conscious, strong-minded, mm-hmm. believe in themselves, entrepreneurs got to make it happen and let the people under us know it's a way to basically trailblazers. Yeah. Be on the trail. It's, really, 
it's a really uh, grimy situation, okay. and we do live in the murder capital a couple of years in a row. Mm -hmm. But um, we're trying to give people of color the vision that they can get out, they can make movies, they can be actors, they can produce anything. I I'm an actor myself. Mm -hmm. I did Nelly Ford commercials, uh, St. Luke Hospital. It's just that I want them to know that just because you look like this, walk like this, talk like this, you can actually be somebody. Mm -hmm. Even at your lowest point. Yeah. Because they're negative. To turn to positive. Yeah, it'll bring the beast out of you. Mm -hmm. The worst can bring the best out of you. Yeah. So most people from St. Louis, we, I don't know how old I was. I want to say I probably was, what, 10, 12 or something when it happened? But listen, I heard helicopters. You know what I'm saying? I heard... Stay in the house, don't leave. Everybody watching Channel 2, Channel 4, yeah. just to see what was the next biggest thing. So do y'all think, after y'all put this movie out, somebody that's 12 or 13 going to be like, dang, let me try to do this. Definitely. Definitely. Because I'm in the streets on a regular time, uh -huh. so they they are, like, I'm all over this place, too. Like, it's my job to meet thousands of people, mm -hmm. new people, mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. You know so this movie might be like a map for them. Y'all know they're right. Uh, but see... Is art imitating life? So, if we didn't put it out, somebody's gonna put it out. Yeah. Basically, basically, letting you know you can generate revenue off your imagination. Okay. So you ain't necessarily gotta go get the nine to five. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it, but you can yeah, turn right. nothing into something with your imagination and you know hard work. Yeah. Turn so do y'all go out and speak to different people about writing, producing, and ways to just go out there for the next thing? Do something? Well, me, I'm kind of like, I want everything raw talent. Mm -hmm. So I go out there, I ask people to say, oh, I want to be in a movie. Oh, I know how to write. I know how to do this. And give them a chance. You know, I'm, I have two other films that I wrote, mm -hmm. uh, Perception and Emergency. That's going to be next after this. So I'm looking for all writers and actors and whoever. You better put us in your movie. Right. Hey, <laughs> but St. Louis is a hard city to come up in. Um, we just show me say you gotta show us and then you give us a chance but that's unfortunate because there's a lot of talent that don't get that spotlight and then they they go dormant oh well that's a blessing that y'all are out here shining like on the streets you know what i mean not necessarily in a negative way but you know what i mean supporting those people out there who like to say don't have a regular nine to five and showing them that you ain't gotta sell dope why because you the dope Oh, <laughs> say that again. Hold on, say that again. I said you ain't got to sell dope. Why? Because you the dope. I ain't got to sell dope. Man, we might go to church. When I say you got to say, I respect the streets a lot because um they teach you the harder way of living. You know what I mean? That's not saying that the wrong way of walking outside, seeing a pick fence, seeing the grass, but sometimes that's not how everybody life is. You do got to jump off the porch a couple times and scrape your knee to understand you're all right. So, um, just like shout out your Instagram names where they can check out the movie, when it's dropping, and then you said you was in another movie too. Oh yeah, that's the uh, movie. It's like one of the biggest movies to ever come out of the local St. Louis area. Uh, it's like inspired by Men's to Society, but with our own St. Louis twist, St. Louis people, St. Louis statistics, St. Louis streets. I'm like the old dog of the movie. You can go uh, on YouTube and check it out. Uh, just type in my name. Letter Y, the letter C, hit the space for STL, it's YC, space STL, and it's all my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, letter Y, the letter C, and STL, you feel And where can they check y'all out on social media? Okay, well, I'm Antonio Holland, I don't have a lot of these uh, <laughs> high fans and all that kind of stuff, but um, I'm Antonio Holland, social media is A Holland Group, uh, one word, A Holland Group. Mr. Credit Repair 1, I do fix credit if you do want to jump on that bandwagon also. But I do a lot of things in St. Louis. It's kind of like at the local level, kind of, you know, it's not slim. Shout out to slim. But uh, I do events. I bring people. I throw parties. I comedy shows. Anybody want to jump on and uh, make this money? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, St. Louis, you already know we have them in the building right now. Make sure you check it out. Check it out. The movie is dropping soon, and I can't wait to see it because you already know when it went down in real life, we all was tuned in, so you might as well go ahead and check it out. The City Biggest Heist is going down. Something. Can you tell them? Go ahead and drop it. Yeah, man. Nah, I ain't feeling like do this. Oh, okay. Do this. I was ready. ready. <laughs> I will. Right you want me to? Okay, yeah. all right. Right now, what I was just going to say is, I also make music. I love making music, but when you see young black men that look like me, they get stereotypes saying they already want to be a rapper. So in a way, I had to separate myself from everybody else. I had to make a movie. But I got to I gotta let the world know I make music, too, and I'm the best at what I do. You see, I see STL. I feel you. Man, keep it locked right here. I'll leave a hot 4.1. K-Y-C-S-T-L, bang, don't forget the hyphen, D-E-Y, high 16 like this. It's my time to shine, so get the spotlight ready. From the hood to the stage with a block like Freddy, but Elm Street ain't got a thing on my neck of the woods. I'm the best of the best, the rest, just the best of the good. My flow's hotter than my city limits with them semis in it. I can get an ugly nickel to whack it for a pretty penny, so get it. How you live? Well, I get it how I was brought up. Slang and gang bang for fame and get you caught up. Straight up. Step in the jungle, you might get ate up. The corner to tell your mom, make sure it's coughing. Stay shut. It's that bad. Not good. So hood and good to hurt. I'm blessed if I make it today. Just imagine another year of depression on. It's time to bench press life. Me against the world. You don't want to miss that fight. And it ain't over until the fat lady sings she dealt with. It's only in you and the fat lady's dreams. You feel? It's the kid YC, STL, baby. Don't forget the hyphen, D-E-Y. Yeah.